good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, whatever the time, welcome to Link Forum Coalition Leeds, West Yorkshire. Uh, just to repeat something I saw recently, and probably you saw it as well, on that favourite programme, Question Time. And it came from Bishop, Bishop Auckland, County Durham. Now, for once, the real reason for um, people voting for Brexit begins to come out. Um, and it became clear what really people were wanting to get from Brexit. It's something we've not heard in all the discussions that are going on, or maybe perhaps on this programme. Um, it was clearly disguised uh, by the circle of deceit woven by our government. Um, uh, and um, they're really saying that they want to follow the people's wishes and get out of the EU. Um, but it's trying very hard, in fact, the reality of the government is they're trying to keep us in the EU and keep us in the single market and the customs union. So here in Durham, many people uh, worked in this formerly coal mining area in all things in mining and in industry. And um, they expected from Brexit, they sim simply hoped it would bring their jobs back, bring them good jobs back. We've been in this um, mining area recently and talked with many, many people who are now struggling to find good employment and stability um, for themselves and their children. This is what they hope for as we move away from laws prescribed by the EU in Brussels. Why then did our government allow fishing, mining, steelworks and many more industrial jobs to be wound down? Was the real reason just to break the union's strength? Did they not even notice how this action broke up society in this and many, many other areas and damaged um, a bit, very big part of the country? It spread everywhere. Was it so that they could have more handles on our money supply and force people into a new penury, as many were forced to work only in service industries? Now we begin to see the end result of all this skullduggery, as Steve Keane, an economist, shows us. Unemployment is steadying, inflation is steadying, but private debt is rising higher and higher. And this means that people to hold on to their houses, to hold on to their possessions and to pay their mortgages, they are being forced to take one or two extra jobs. Um, just to keep the money flowing in, to keep up the monthly payments. But what of time to enjoy life and what of a little relaxation? Are there any places in the met metropolitan elite of Westminster available for those who live in Middle England? The ones who are not fortunate enough to be in the neo-liberal elite and just wish for a happy, stable existence. Is that available in this country? That's what we're asking. Thanks for listening. And um, subscribe to us, subscribe to us, sorry, if you really have time to do that, that would be wonderful. Thanks a lot.